유엔 영어 뉴스 쿤 에페 더 빌러브드 디저트 리빌딩 터키 Before two earthquakes hit the Turkish province of h a t a y there were more than 30 shops making k o n e f e The few that remain are determined to keep this beloved tradition alive. It was an early November evening in downtown h a t a y h a t a y Turkey's southernmost province, bordering Syria. The weather was warm, with pleasant, everlasting breezes. Just having finished up an assignment, I met up with a fellow journalist in the old town. After some kebab, m e z e and many l a k i s Stopping at a Kunafe shop to indulge in the cheesy Levantine desert. Desert was our best option for ending a perfect night. The Kunafe's thin, string like strands of crunchy semolina dough, cold tail k a d a f i combined with Its unsalted, stretchy, hot day cheese provided an ideal contrast of textures. While the s h o r b e t a syrup made of water, sugar, and lemon juice that was poured on top, wrinkled in our mouths. While a similar dish k n a f e is found throughout the Middle East. k n a f e is distinctly Turkish, believed to have originated in h a t a y and made specifically with the province's namesake cheese, which is similar to fresh mozzarella, traditionally eaten during Ramadan. The dessert can now be found in shops anytime in o v e year. In h a t t a i more than 30 k u n e f e shops lined the streets, a testament to its popularity. One could say the dessert's mixture of taste and textures is a metaphor for the province, a historical trade center. and melting pot for people from different ethnic and religious backgrounds and in a food-loving place where people ask you if you are hungry before they ask your name. This is like k u n e f e a point of local pride. Hot Thai cheese is similar to fresh mozzarella. The owner of the shop smiled at us while leaning against the door. Those who taste our food cannot abandon them, he said. Remember your first time. You, taste, you tasted our food, got used to it, and now you can't give it up. Once you come to Antakya, Antakya, you are bound to return. My next visit to Antakya came three years later, but the scene was drastically different. The square where I first ate k u n a f e was covered with rubble. The once pleasant air was filled with the dust from ongoing excavation work and a statue of a Kunafe master, a symbol of the skill, was standing alone amid all the destruction. Turkey and the neighboring Syria had been hit by two major earthquakes. 
registering 7.8 and 7.5 on the official magnitude scale in the early hours of 6 February. More than 50,000 people lost their lives and more than 2 million people were displaced. Hatay was one of the region's worst hit provinces with almost all its city center and many of its villages destroyed. More than two months after disaster struck, many people are still in dire need of access to clean water as well as food, clothing, and other necessities. A statue of a Kunafe master stands alone amid Hatay's post earthquake destruction. Yet, in a city where almost everyone lost family members and friends, life continues. A limited number of Kunafe shops managed to reopen their doors providing a taste of normalcy to their resilient customers as they rebuild something locals here have done for centuries. These recent earthquakes were not the first disaster to strike the area, known locally as Antioch or Antkia, due to its historical name which was the capital of several empires since the death of Alexander the Great. Dr. A. Asa Agar, an associate professor of the Islamic world at the University of North Carolina and Andrea U. De Giorgi, an associate professor of classical studies at Florida State University described the city's resiliency as something quintessentially Antiochian in their 2021 book Antiochian A History after stating that it had witnessed about 10 earthquakes in its history causing extreme damage and loss of life Yet, the city has survived period after period, Agar and the, the Giorgi wrote, studying Anchochi during all of its ages, replete with the crisis and transformations, teaches us a valuable lesson on the capacity of a city and its citizens to rebuild and to be resilient. According to the book, even though disasters had profound physical and psychological effects on the population, they somehow allowed Antioch to reshape too. Was the Kunefe reopened in a prefabricated bazaar in Hatay several weeks after the recent earthquakes? Enzin Dink, a Kunafe master who reopened his heavily damaged shop in a prefabricated barge in Hatay several weeks after the recent earthquakes, experienced this first hand. It's a bit small after our old place, he said. Still, it's cute. We are lucky that we had it. Maybe it's going to be the place where we rear up again. Was the Kunafe's original shop was in one of the wealthier neighborhoods of Hate. Customers remembered that some nights before the earthquake, they waited for their orders while cruising the street in their cars since there were no tables to sit at or a parking space to stop at 
Now the new temporary shop is barely larger than 10 square meter, and the staff needs to work efficiently to prevent chaos in the limited space. While spreading the as a pasta containing molasses and butter, paste or paste containing molasses and butter to the bottom of the round copper trays used for making the knefe. Dink explained that after years of working for others, he was enjoying being the boss behind the cash box before the earthquake boss making the dessert himself as he used to do but our master Kunape maker died with his whole family in the earthquake he said so I returned to the back of the counter this time however he had a new helper Lamia Dink his wife, after noticing that her husband was struggling to deal with the kitchen and the customers simultaneously, she rolled up her sleeves and became the team's newest member. Stoves have a unique mechanism for rotating kunafe to ensure even cooking. In the beginning, he didn't trust me, Ramia recalled from her first day, helping to press the tail card piece into as a lined trace to go onto the stove, which has a unique mechanism for rotating the knife to ensure even cooking. But he quickly realized that we needed to adapt to the new circumstances to survive. She continued, and that's what we are doing. For her husband, returning to the kitchen and completing the first tray of knepe was the first time he felt good again after the earthquake. I tasted, tasted it, and it was the first knepe I ate after what happened. He remembered. I said, oh well, I'm alive. Artisan cheesemaker Leil Kuzei Ryoglu reflected on how life revolves around food, particularly local dishes like Kunefe, in Atakia, in Atakia, while talking about the city before the earthquakes. The question which finds meaning around an Antakia was what would we eat? What would we eat? What would we drink? She said. Born and raised in Istanbul and having studied in the UK before moving to Ant Antakia in 2014. Kuze Ryoglu now produced the area's local hot cheese, a soft rindless cheese made from raw goats and sometimes cow's milk. She was initially surprised by the city's connection with the food and the people's passion for spending hours gathered around large dining tables. Enzin Dink and his wife Ramia make a knife in Hate after the earthquakes. I realized that even old mosaics in An An Antakia were about feast tables when I started to learn more about the city. She recalled the food is the love language for Antakia's people. They like having everybody over in the evenings, setting big tables with different kinds of food, and spending hours loud mouthy, mouthy, 
and to clap was the sweetest way to end a meal, according to Kusei Ryoglu. Normally, it's not possible to eat any dessert with Raki, she explained while talking about the anise-flavored Turkish national spirit. But since Kunepe has his in it, it goes along well with the Raki. This means that drinking continues with the, the dessert and the, the night improves to a delicious end. Since men primarily made it, Kunepe was also a bravado tool for them. Kuze Ryuglu continued. There were discussions or braggings about the best Kunepe or style among the men in the same communities back at Goste Kunepe. However, there was only a camaraderie among the Dink couple. The Kunepe rotating on stoves created a sizzling sound and the smell of car caramelized butter and molasses molas 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 filled the air it smells like old days said one of the local customers sitting outside most of those day kunepe's customers now are people in uniform from the security force who are the only ones who can really afford to buy Kunefe in a city where most of the people no longer have jobs and are dependent on aid and donations. Yet residents who come back to collect what belongs they can from their homes. Yet residents who come back to collect what belongs they can from their homes also visit and be able to eat kunepe makes them so happy Dink said while taking trays lined with tell kada ifis over the stove and putting them aside to cool after pouring sherbet on top kunepe are served right from the tray Dink then placed lumps of hot tea cheese on top of the cold tel kadaifus and pressed another layer of the crunchy dough on top. He then turned over the knafe, revealing its bottom layer, which was golden and shiny from the now caramelized, cam caramel, caramelized ize and transferred it to a new train and put it back on the stove. I believe others who left the city after the earthquakes will make our Kunepe even more popular in other cities. He said while waiting for the other side of the Kunepe to cook. Maybe this is an opportunity for our Kunepe to spread throughout Turkey as the ones who stayed there. We can always train new ones to continue the tradition of hot taste 30 plus Kunefe shops before the earthquake. Only three still operate. We'll work things out, but we need some help with it, said Dink. After bringing the Kunefe train to the display, outside the shop. While pouring cold chobe over the hot knepe, he continued, People of Antakya cannot live outside of here. Many left because of their conditions, but will stay. They will return and will rebuild our lives again. After almost half an hour of work, the kunepe was ready to eat. It was sugary, but a little bit sour at the same time. 
It was soft and crispy. It tasted like the old days in Antakya, and it offered a sense of hope for the coming ones. Punefe stopped with kaima and pistachios. Kunafe recipe by Enzin Link serves four ingredients for the sherbet 400 ml, about one and two thirds cups water, 400 ml, about one and two thirds cups sugar, one tablespoon lemon juice, for the edge, 150 gram, one and a quarter sticks unsalted butter, 1 tablespoon molasses for the kunafe 300 gram 10 and a half ounce tel kadaif can substitute filo dough 200 gram 7 ounce hate cheese can substitute fresh mozzarella cut up into small pieces pistachios optional Kaima, similar to clotted cream, optional. Method, step 1. In a saucepan, prepare the sherbet by heating the water and the sugar until it boils. Stir occasionally so that the syrup does not stick to the bottom. When the syrup starts to boil, add the lemon juice and leave it for 5 minutes over low heat. Allow to cool. Step 2. In a small saucepan, melt the water over low heat. Transfer to a cup and leave at room temperature. When the water becomes solid again, scoop out the solid parts and transfer to a small bowl. Discard the watery remains left in the cup to make the easy. Mix the remaining water with the, the molasses until it reaches a thick consistency. Step 3. Unravel the tail kadaif and cut it into 1 cm or 3rd inch pieces with a knife. Spread edge to the tray, preferably a copper tray or a frying pan, about 25 to 30 cm, stretchy 10 to 12 inches in diameter, and place half of the tail kadaifs on the butter with a greased tray without, without leaving any spaces between the pieces. Press onto the tail kadaif with your palms while rotating the tray to compress it. Step 4. Place the tray on the stove over the lowest heat and rotate it manually every couple of minutes when you are sure the bottom has a golden color. Remove the tray from the heat and allow it cool. Step 5. Place the cheese on the tail kadaif layer and cover it with another layer of tail kadaif. After turning the kunafe upside down on another tray, repeat the cooking process. First spreading a layer of ize onto the tray. Step 6. Pour the sherbet onto the cooked crepe, starting from the edges to the center. Serve with pistachios or kaimak. 